What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? Who are you? Uh, 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 uh. The head bang. The head bang. Oh, I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy after that, guys. If you're new here, do not forget, become a superstar. Hit the subscribe button down below. Great things happening to superstars all over the world. Juju is wild. It's crazy. I mean, I went to Home Depot. I tried to buy a bit of wood. I went home. I said, you know what? I didn't cut this wood, but I put it where I had to put it. And it was already cut to the size it had to be cut. It's just the juju. That's the stuff that happens. You just get the good luck. And it's just every single day something new happening for people. So uh, become a superstar. Hit that subscribe button and see what your juju is. Also, you can join the VIP. $2.99 a month. Hit, hit the join button underneath the video. You're going to get cool badges next to your name. Uh, we got a spreadsheet that tells you the probability of making profits on drops with your price predictions. And we have a new spreadsheet tool we will be showcasing on this video. Um, anybody who was in the Superstar VIP before and left, you do not have access to this. We are rolling out a new link and all that stuff. So um, this is going to be a, a video just kind of explaining that new tool. But honestly, really, really useful for market sniping right now because right now there's not a lot of ways to make profit on VV. We've been through it. We've seen the market just tanking like crazy. So this might be a strategy that can help you uh, going forward. Also, on top of that, we do mini brand giveaways. Uh, shout out Growler and uh, shout out Jordan C. I just sent out your packages. Uh, one's going to Israel and one's going to uh, Arizona somewhere. So shout nice. out um, to those guys. And the next one's coming soon. I mean, I only got a couple more left to open and then we're doing another raffle. And end of the month, we got less, I think one week from today, we will be naming a star in the universe after Let's one of the it. VIP. Let's do so, it. One of my favorite giveaways right there. So make Let's sure build that are, constellation. Yeah, we're going to build it. I might have to make a graphic showing it. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. We have sl just slowly like some graphic in the sky with lines and just connecting. It's be amazing. Yeah. Shout out to uh, the, the VIP guys. Write your page down in the comments below. Team, team page three, team page four, whatever you are. Um, and make sure that you guys are still active when it comes time to doing the, uh, the draw because whoever has an active subscription will be the only ones entered. Right. A lot of people got it, uh, when was it, on the 30th. So they're not, yeah. they're not going to make the cutoff because we're going to do the draw on the 31st. Yeah. So every yeah. every last day of the month. So, yeah. guys, make sure you check on your status of your thing because you don't want to miss it and then feel like, oh, what happened? Um, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, follow us on there. Uh, you can see the underscores on the Twitter and the Instagram. And on Twitter, we also have our Superstar Money VV account link uh, because we cannot list the fastos because we are not kyc on our channel account. We do have main accounts. We're still deciding if we want to give them out. I know some of you guys found us. Um, we're not we're not the best at hiding that stuff all the time. So if you found <laughs> us, you are a sneaky, sneaky one. <laughs> uh, some some know the tricks. Some yeah. know the tricks. Um, also, we have some Twitter news. So in the Twitter news, I'm going to pull up this first because this is pretty cool. Shout out to Acai Bowl for tagging us. But Eminem nice. announces the launch of a limited edition board API club themed candy. So we're getting wow. physical crypto NFT collaborations still happening. So we do know that there has been wow. there's been some pullback from NFTs in the in the mainstream market. But when people start seeing them on their MMs, that might start to help. Well, this just shows you the, the power of a decentralized, you know, fully open market, utility driven NFT and what it can do and the value that it can bring, right? So I mean, on Vivi, obviously there's some drawbacks to the centralization, but this just shows you the power of NFTs for this project that's been just driving new utility constantly. With Eminem now, you got the celebrity power, which we haven't seen yet here on Vivi. Man, that's incredible. Yeah, it's crazy. So it's it's actually it's cool that it's inspiring. Kenny. I'm not sure how many people are going to be able to afford afford bored apes who are buying Eminems. I feel yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of. It's kind of funny unless they give them like a board ape on the packaging or something like that because real board apes are like ridiculously expensive, right? So right. Um, I don't know how that's going to work, but shout out to Saibo. This is how mass adoption will work, guys, and how Vivi will be niche in the NFT space. And I, I, I agree. I think that uh, I think that if Vivi is able to do some sort of marketing similar to this, it actually might be even more enticing because people who buy these products will actually be able to afford some of the things on the app uh, yeah, when they do look into it. It'd be a cool marketing for sure. You slap some serial killers on the serial boxes. I don't know if they'd want that because of the meaning <laughs> behind it, but that that is a pretty cool concept to find a way. I mean, the IP at the end of the day is owned by the. It's not like you no know, the board yachts or whatever the board API club. They uh they own whoever owns the actual NFT actually owns full licensing to that as well. 
uh, yeah. not like VV where you need the licensors with our limited license to make sure that they're okay with it. But still that advertisement can bring new people into VV. Yeah. Scan the back of a cereal box, right? Well, maybe you guys, you guys all, all did it when you were younger, you had cereals and uh, you, you dug through them to try and find a prize. What if, yeah. what, what if Kellogg's gets picked up here and you can get a toucan Sam, like real toucan Sam on the app um, Be cool. paired with Kellogg's. And then if you have all of them in the collection and then they deliver you an airdrop or something like that, um, it's like cereal box has been doing that airdrop thing back in the day. You used to have to cut out the barcodes and send them in. Like now, now they can just like <laughs> skip that whole process. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's so who right. knows? Okay. Uh, the other thing we put out this tweet, this was a fun one. Uh, in this down market, where do you see the best deals? What are you buying on sale? Don't be afraid to share screenshots. Put yeah. this, this little hand and then uh, excited to see your new acquisitions and people went off. People are picking up grails, uh, updating my mints from 6,000 plus to 2,000 or less. So people Superman. all have different strategies. Superman's Superman. folding. Hey, remember you sold him at 1,300? Yeah. He's, he's, he's sitting at like, I think 600 right now or 500, something like that. Yeah, and I had a terrible mint. I don't even remember the mint number. So I'm, I'm not I'm not missing my Superman too much yet. Yeah. Um, but with that money, I could buy a lot of, I could buy a Todd now if I actually wanted to. That's true. Um, but here we go. We got uh, Bronson. Look at this. It's all over the place. Everybody is buying Every all sorts year. of things. Wow. It's all sorts of different things that I did not expect. This was a, a cool one. Yeah. yeah. Comics and crypto buying a hundred Luke Skywalker lightsabers. Nice. Nice. You nice. think stacking. they believe in that or what? Stacking like crazy. I love it. I love it. We might have to make a video on this. Um, I think uh, Sean was asking. He's like, you guys should we, we'd love to hear our take. So maybe that'll be a video in the well, near sta- term. On, on stacking on the lightsabers right now. I, I don't know if it was stacking on the lightsabers in general or what he thinks about the, the idea maybe of of interoperability inside the app yeah in, in intercollectible uh yeah. utility okay yeah we well, know it's coming just, but there's just a bunch a bunch of great great deals right now in the market and look at uh everybody's showing look this one i'm buying the, the four kings we got superman todd vader and spider-man so nice. i just wanted nice. to show this off because you guys you guys made my day i just love watching and, and reading your comments you guys honestly uh, open our eyes. Sometimes we don't even look in one direction and you guys point us there and say like, oh, look at this. And then I'm like, oh, wow, I can get a, a ultra rare Fantastic Four for only 225 Who yeah. knew, right? So uh, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, prices, into- prices obviously are, or have come down quite a bit that like we just said with your suit, with your Superman. I'll be, I'll be honest. If, I, if you had a secret rare Spider-Man right now, or if you wanted to buy a secret rare Spider-Man right now, would you make that move right now based on what we're seeing? I, th- I feel like they would probably hold off at this point in time. Like how low does the secret experiment have to go before you're like, okay, we, it's a must buy. It's a must buy. Yeah. I think it's sitting at what? 12,000 right now. No, I think he's under 10 K under 10 K. Okay. Yeah, there I you think go. he's under 10 K at least last time I looked, maybe he got bought up, but yeah, it's just how many people could sustain these massive purchases. Uh, we already, we looked at VV Fox's website the other day. There was like 2,600 active buying wallets. I mean, yeah. of those, how many can afford 10 grand in right. one shot? I mean, I think it's very slim to none. So yeah. Um, I, I would expect the same type of downward movement. I mean, DCA is, is a good idea, I guess, but not financial advice. Uh, and it's something that I've been looking into. It's just, I don't have any drive or passion to buy anything immediately. If I see a deal, I'll pick something up, but it's hard. Like it's hard to find something that you feel like this is a deal because you're always thinking long-term like this could, this is a deal, but it probably is going to go to half of this price or, or three quarters, you know what I mean? So it, it's tough to convince yourself to buy, which is kind of a good thing because it's saving my wallet a little bit. Well, er, early on, I felt like a lot of people thought they were getting a deal, right? Yeah. Early on, they would say, wow, I think I'm getting a deal on this. And then what you learn in hindsight is that you actually overpaid. So I think a lot of people have been scarred by that over the many, many months now that we've been feeling this downward trend. And I think people now are just being a little bit more conserved with their, with their spending, which is probably a good thing at this point. Yeah, you got to make sure that you're not over leveraged. I mean, Walt a couple of weeks ago was five and a half K and now he's sitting at like three and a half to four, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah. that's a big drop off. That's like almost 50%. That's enough. It's like 40% off in two weeks. So right. uh, very, very steep declines are happening. And uh, especially for the expensive things, I think people are going to kind of be a little bit more hesitant. Oh, for sure. For sure. Uh, at least in the near term, because some people might need that money uh, coming. But anyway, we got this comic. Uh this one's coming tomorrow, I think. The abomination. Yeah, the, the abomination. A lot of you guys let us know that this is in, I guess, She-Hulk and uh, well, in the MCU. Yeah, and Shang-Chi too. If you that's I haven't seen any She-Hulk yet, but if, I, I didn't remember 
she was it, the abomination was in the uh in the shang chi the movie the 2021 movie so great movie by the way so we've seen them before the c rank pretty good physical uh world value i think everyone's been talking about that online yeah, yeah. still though i probably won't go for it i don't go for any drops at this point in time unless it's one that i think could do pretty well um but if you're if you're somebody who likes stacking uh you know, stacking collectibles, you want to get the first minted one. This is not a bad one to go for because it does have that physical world value that backs it up. Yeah, the thing with the comics is like for three of the rarities, though it's not even equal to like 50%, I don't think, but like three of the rarities, you might make back your money or make some. Right. Um, so it, it's still a gamble. You can still go for a hit ultra rare. You can hit a low mint or you can hit uh thing. And they're not they're not really high entry price. So yeah, it's fun too. $6.99, I mean, if you have gems on the side, you just want to gamble with. I mean, never really complained when I see people going for these types of drops. Yeah. Um, just for me, like I've lost it's interest. I've lost, I've lost interest in the game and I've lost interest in uh, the gamble, which I had a lot back in the day because there's a little bit more incentive. Now, the incentive is flip seven to 100. For me, okay, yeah, you're making you're making a like almost 11, 12x. But, it's a 2% uh, chance though. But it's a 2% chance, exactly. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. For me, it doesn't make sense. We got some other updates from VV. Uh, the payout is now available to all U.S. That's big news. So that's including New York. I'm hoping yeah. it includes Hawaii as well. I know Hawaii had some issues early on. Yeah. Uh, so let us know in the comments if you have tried payout. Uh, well, they said Hawaii all U.S. New York. They said all U.S. So that, that should include Hawaii. That's yeah. huge news. Big day for VV. That's a full blown cash out now for the United States. One of their biggest market. Um, and all their, I think fifty, at least fifty percent of their users are all from there. So. It's huge for them to finally have that payout and just kind of knock that off. Now it's time to get crypto back. We might have to wait a little bit more for that one, but at well, least it's, they got it's to on this out. list here. Technical issues have prevented some users from accessing payout. It'll be fixed in the next coming days. We have heard a couple of people on Twitter saying that their payout's not working. Next couple some, of days, okay. Some users in Australia, Canada, Mexico, and Brazil have been unable to pay out. Issue is now resolved. So if you were having issues from those places, it should work. Yeah, it's good. It's huge. Big, big crypto news. Crypto payout continues to be paused as we work through technical issues. We asked Reese about this on the AMA. Didn't really shed much light on uh, what those technical issues were. Yeah. But uh, it sounds like they do want it to come back, which is a good thing. Right. Right. Yeah, that's big news. I'm happy about this for sure. And a lot of people were talking about if Wire is going to be replaced or if they're going to switch their uh, payout pro uh, provider. And it doesn't seem that way. If you look at number five, our provider, Wire, is constantly working to expand their global coverage. And we expect to be able to announce even wider coverage soon. So it, it does seem like they're they're still really, really uh, in talks with Wire and keeping them, they're, they're, they're having that communication. So I don't think yeah. that that's going anywhere anytime soon. Well, they, they, we said the 10% fee probably isn't going to drop yeah. anytime soon. Hopefully over time with more users, it will. But for now, that is what it is. And yeah. the thousand ba minimum balance as well. Yeah. Thousand as, people, balance. as people are buying gems more through the web app, I th that's what Reese mentioned that yeah. because it, it it'll offset how the much Apple fees store. yeah fees they're paying for the Apple Store and and whatnot. So uh, as soon as they're able to offset that and they, then they can start to bring down the fees. When that happens, uh, nobody knows. Those kids, those Apple Store fees are killer too. They're just killer. Yeah. Sometimes you get stuck having to do it though because you're not at a computer and you're checking things on your phone. And you're like, oh, it's here, and like the opportunity cost. Yeah. If I don't do it now, someone else is gonna do it before I get to a computer. So you have to do it, and you're like, ah. You got to go for uh, it, right? FOMO, FOMO, <laughs> FOMO at its finest. It happens on the drops because you know what? On those drops, when that reserve lockup happens, it's easier to get into those reserve lockups on your phone. You don't know what the prices are going to be after the drop. Right. Uh, so some, that happened to me on AF50, not going to lie, but uh, that's one that I'll, I'll uh, be holding you'll on you'll to. Take the hit. You'll take the hit. I'll take the hit there. Um, okay. So Bri Brian Vivero is the 101 top cat. Everybody knows 1500 is the entry price. Are you going to place a 1500 bid, Rob? I mean, I was thinking of it just because I know I'm not going to win it. But at the same time, I'm not really convinced that they're going to do two airdrops. I think they're going to do it just for the first one. They probably won't do it for the second one. Is there any pain to, to placing that drop? I zero. Mean, zero. There's I zero think, risk. I know. I, I, it should go for more than that. But the problem is if it goes for more and people don't pay or something like that, like we saw no, in the last if you, drop. If you go 1500 I really believe that there's going to be a lot of people going 1500 I think that the winner will be a 1501 or way more bid. Like... Someone could easily draw yeah. up like 3K down and win this. Like I, I, I always don't wondered think... what would happen if there was a tie. Well, this is this this is the first physical collectible being paired with the digital right yeah. now on a one for one drop. So it has that historical meaning. 
And then That's you can true. actually get the physical copy and put it. I think it's going to go well over 1500. I think it's probably going to double that at least. Um, but yeah, like don't be scared. If you want to put a bid in for 1500, just to protect for another airdrop, do it. But how do, how do they make a tiebreaker? What if two people go 3000? That's the leading bid. I guess it'll be whoever put it in first, maybe. Oh, maybe. They, maybe, they yeah, never maybe stated. Right. They never stated what it would be a coin flip, a simple coin flip. I think you convinced me. I think I'm going to put $1,500 bid after this. And, There's uh, no way you're winning that. There's, I'm I telling know, you right but now. Just, just to say that I've bid on every single every single uh, one of one. Yeah, just minimum bid them all. <laughs> keep my streak going. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, that's from the VV stuff. So now, I guess we have on your screen here a new little tool for the Superstar VIPs. And uh, maybe you can explain it a little bit, Rob, because you have it there. It's easy for you to point it out. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, we were talking about, obviously, the downward pressure in the market. But we've seen the whales implement this strategy before. Although they do it a little bit more coordinated where they buy up floors and they start relisting. So that as you as you know undercutting happens, but the relisting is happening at, at the same time, as random users buy up your relisted from a higher price than you the floor that you ran up, as long as you're over your average cost, you might be able to make money. So there's a little spreadsheet here. Joe worked pretty hard on this today to get this together, which basically on the left side, you have your floor prices that you can list out. So you could get an idea. Okay. How many do I need to buy up in order to sell them for some new floor price in order to come up with either making money or getting a couple of freedoms for free or how many you have to sell at this price in order to at least break even. So with this exact example, you have 10, 12, 14, down to 20, and then you relist them for 22 and you build a wall, assuming they can actually get bought out, which is a big assumption. Remember that they like just, you might do this and no one might buy it, yeah. but that's assuming people buy it at 22. The count, there's eight in total. Your average buy is $15 and 75 cents. If you add them up and divide them by the number, the total cost is $126. But if you sell them all for 22, the revenue is 176. To get a profit of 50, which basically works out to getting a couple for free. So if you sell six of these, you're getting a couple for free. This is just a way to use the tool if you ever want to run the floors and use it. It's almost a whale strategy. I think it works a little bit better if you create some hype with it. Uh, yeah. Maybe we saw that with A15 getting bought up recently. Um, you know, clean sweep, create some hype. Then the new users come in, they FOMO in, but that's you actually relisting. There might be more opportunity though for non whales to do this with how cheap some of these collectible prices are going to get. And with the lower supply of sales that are out there right now. Yeah, I think it'll, it'll be, it, it's like, th this is just an example. It's not from any particular collectible. Just wanted to show you guys how it will work. Uh, and those, those floor prices, you can throw them all the way down like to infinity because the way it, it is, it'll read as many as you post. So if you post a hundred, it'll give you the average of a hundred. Um, it'll, you can just keep adding and adding and adding and adding. Um, and there you see, so so you're losing money if you, if you buy that one, <laughs> but uh, it, it'll keep it'll keep going, it'll keep going. So now he has nine, and if he's selling them at twenty two, but here you might be selling at thirty five because now the floor's risen above thirty nine, right? Um, so that that'll help you there. So this is something that I think might even work on comics. So if you if you do it something really really low, maybe like two dollar comics, and you raise the floor to two fifty. Uh, and you bought 25 of them, and then you start selling them at at 250 or 245. Um, this might work that way. So this is a good tool for you guys to be able to just strategize and put in your number and say, okay, if I put in, if I buy these up before you even buy them, if I buy these up and I sell them at this price, what's it look like? And that's why we wanted to bring this spreadsheet up because I think it's actually really helpful. It's a good tool. That's something that I'm going to be using going forward. Um, and I thought it was necessary to make it just because it's a strategy that I think that could work in this marketplace if you find the right items, the right, right collectibles. Yeah, like let us know below. Like we think, I, I mean, I think it, may, it makes sense to use this on, first of all, with what you can afford, but collectibles that are still highly sought out. Mm -hmm. Like we're in a bear market, but there's still going to be your grails. There's, there's still going to be your blue chips that people are always going to want, especially users that are currently on the app and new users will also want to get as well to join that party. So I still think you got to use this uh, cautiously. I wouldn't just go randomly flying around doing this. Uh, Crypto Pro's big into understanding and knowing your collectible inside out to understand the prices and what sells. So uh, yeah, if you want to try this out, I would love to le let us know below if you have used the strategy in the past about buying up floors and then relisting and building walls. Do you plan on doing it? Do you think this spreadsheet's useful? Let us know below. We want to hear from you for sure.
Yeah, but, uh, I like that you mentioned Crypto Pro there because he he might be using this after this. Uh, I mean, uh, the way that the way that he has done his dollar cost averaging, and he also follows the charts and he understands like the windows of where it's bouncing up and down from. So maybe in a down sweep, he picks up a bunch to bring it up to that yeah the top there, and he knows the average and he sells them at that average, and maybe he makes a little bit of money. So yeah, the um, Crypto Pro strategy is like Exhibit A of how this would be useful. Because yeah. he he said he he knows his collectibles inside out. He knows when they're at their peak. He knows when they're at the base because he's just he's on VV market like literally all day every day. Yeah. So I agree with you. If you if you know you're near a floor, maybe you have a small window of opportunity to clean them up, get it back up to the higher spot, and then sell on the way down. Yeah. Still, you know this this strategy. I mean, for me, it's not really my favorite strategy just because I still like to buy what I actually like, and I feel like to, to sweep the floors and what I actually like. It's just not attainable from, a, from yeah. a financial perspective. But if you love, who knows, maybe like the Disney villains, this could maybe yeah. be the way to go or something like this, right? Yeah, it's true. Who knows? So let us know how you would use it, if you would use it, and uh, what you think of this strategy. It's a little bit different. Uh, we want to bring a little bit more utility to the VIP as well. So it yeah. gives you something to help you plan a strategy if maybe you are doing that. I, I've been seeing it on Twitter where people are like, oh, I'm sweeping the floor here. I'm sweeping the floor here. Uh, what's the plan though? What do you sell it for? How much profit can you make? This makes that easy for you um, just by having it available at your fingertips. So yeah. guys, I think that's it for me, Rob. Um, yeah, that's it. That's you take it. it away. I got, I got one of these things to open actually. Okay, open up first. Yeah. Let's do Let's that go below though. We want, we want to hear from you guys. Let's go below. Yeah. So here we go. We got uh, two more. So tomorrow will be the last one. Then we'll run a draw. And oh my gosh, Rob. What is it? What is it? We got a Yoda cup again. This oh, one went cup. off the shelves on the first draw ever. So yeah. I do not expect it to be around after this draw, but it's a Starbucks cup with the little Yoda face on it. That's a you sick, that's a sick cup. That, that, that is way better than I first thought it was going to be. The I'll be hiding slap. it so you cannot find it and you will not be taking it from the fan. I'll go. show you a Yoda cup. <laughs> you want to talk about Yoda cup? I'll show you. Yeah, Yoda yeah, cup. Yeah. Anyways, guys, let us know below what you think about today's video. If you haven't already, don't forget, smash the subscribe button, join the superstar fam. We respond to every single comment. Let us know below. And don't forget to hit the bell because we've heard reports of people missing big AMAs with Reese because they didn't have the bell hit on or they didn't subscribe to our channel. So if you haven't already, make sure you do. You can also now become a superstar VIP and get access to the spreadsheet that we just showed you right now. If you're into that specific strategy, join the VIP membership, $2.99 a month. Get access to that. We have other spreadsheets as well. The drop probability calculator. It's also used sometimes to help to make a good decision on whether or not you should buy. You get these cool stars beside your name. We'll advertise for you. Just let us know if there's any collectibles you're trying to sell. We'll try to help you out. We try to bring as much utility to you as possible. And also for all the VIPs, remember, many of you got your memberships on the 30th of July, Joe's birthday. That's how we remember, 31st. right? Sorry, the 31st of July. Yeah. Is it the 31st? Yeah. Okay, but they're going to drop off on this draw. They'll drop they off on the 30th because it's a, it's a one month. Right. They're going to drop off on the 30th. So when we do the final draw, you may not be a part of this unless you renew. So if you want to have a chance of getting a brand new star, make sure you do that. And, of course, Joe's showing on the screen downstairs, down below. Uh, you got these hats now, merch. We want to do a, a merch giveaway for sure. We we're, we're actually made some progress today in terms of sorting out you know, how we're going to we're going to manage this in terms of mailing out the stuff, receiving payment. We're going to get these to you guys soon. VIPs get first dibs on the hats. Beautiful hats. and look incredible, man. Those And they're high quality. They're good quality, okay? Yep. They're, they're actually, they're straight up Canadian made. Canadian quality. made by a superstar. Look by Superstar quality. Dane. It's it's amazing quality. Look at it. No, this 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 hat, you're not getting anything you cheap. Can't with this, it. It? No, you can't, you can't beat it. No, you can't beat it. Made by Superstar Dane himself. I love he the also, fact. He also he does merch it. for like some big bands, like. He was telling me like Wu Tang goes through oh, yeah? him. Like he's got a lot of big bands there, so you know you're getting some legit stuff. Yeah, no, it's it, it's quality. Like these aren't like cheap hats, right? Um, we we could easily, if we really wanted to, maybe go to Alibaba or something and and order a whole bunch. But we want to make sure we provide quality for the the this merch. So uh, we had some good comments below saying that a lot of people did like them, so they were a big hit. I think we're gonna get a bunch of orders from them. But uh, anyways, yeah, thank you all for watching. We appreciate your support, and we will see you on the next one. Take care. Love you. Bye. Bye.